Thank you for joining this lesson, logarithms. We are trying to solve the equation to the logarithm of x minus the logarithm of x minus 2 equals to 2, the logarithm of 3. Remember to subscribe to this channel and to also share the link with your friends. Let us look at the possible solution of this logarithm equation. It should be known that uh, when we have a certain number, the logarithm of a number like a this can be solved by taking the logarithm of a then we make n the power to a that means applying this in the first and the last term we shall have the logarithm x now x becomes squared the two here now minus the logarithm x minus 2 this is equal to the logarithm of 3 power 2 3 power 2. So now after this we should know another law of logarithms. Now that we have a sign here which is a minus the logarithm of A minus the logarithm of B. This is equivalent to the logarithm of A divided by B. With this we should take the logarithm. Then we have x squared divided by x minus 2. This is equal to the logarithm of 3 squared which is 9 so after applying all the laws of logarithms now we can drop logs then we quit both sides now divided by x minus 2 this is equal to 9 then we cross multiply this will give us x squared equals to 9x minus 18 when we open this one by 9 9x minus 18. Then now we rearrange the equation. x squared minus 9x plus 18. This is equal to a 0. It is now a quadratic equation and we can solve for the possible values of x. So we can use the quadratic formula which says the value of x is usually given by negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac then everything divided by 2 multiplied by a. And now the equation is already in the format ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. So we can now substitute in the formula. The value of b is negative 9. Therefore, negative b becomes positive 9 because of the negative negative 9. Then plus or minus the square root of negative 9 squared gives us 81 then minus 4 into a which is 1 times c which is 18 then we divide everything by 2 multiplied by 1 yeah 2 multiplied by 1 so this is going to be 9 plus or minus when we take when we take 4 by 18 4 by 18 it gives us 72. So 81 minus 72 gives us 9. So the square root of 9 is either plus or minus 3. Then we divide by 2. Then we can get to our two values of x. Either x equals to 9 plus 3, giving us 12 out of 2. Or x equals to 9 minus 3, giving us 6. And 6 divided by 2 gives us 3. So the 2 possible values of x are 6 or 3.